The purpose of the following visualization is to convey the breadth and scope of Sykes' knowledge about the world. Every point of light appearing on your screen is a concept. From this vantage point, we can see approximately 500,000 distinct concepts. Now, what do we mean when we say distinct concept? Let's take something simple, like a tree. If we want to talk about trees in the abstract, or more generally, we can say that all trees need water, they take in carbon dioxide and produce oxygen. From there, we can be more specific. We can make distinctions between trees based on their leaves. I can talk about conifers, or hardwoods, or a kind of hardwood tree, the oaks. We can say a type of oak, English oaks, are common to Europe. Or we can get very specific and talk about an instance of English oaks, a single tree in all of the world, the major oak located in Sherwood Forest. At each level, we've gone from the more general to the more specific and can see examples of what Psyche knows about the members of that set of trees and everything that is more specific. In addition to all of these concepts, Sykes understands the relationships among them. What you're seeing on your screen is a visualization of the taxonomic relationships between concepts in Psyche. That is, a view of which concepts are specializations of other concepts. These relations, which are shown as the colored lines on this display, are just a small fraction of the relationships that Psyche knows about. In fact, there are over 26,000 different types of relations represented in Psyche, and over 6 million facts and rules describing more than a half million concepts. And these millions of facts are themselves just a small fraction of the knowledge that can be inferred using human-like reasoning. If we were to try to display all of those relations that link these concepts, they would white out the screen. Let's drill into one small portion of the knowledge base and see what Psych knows about companies. Here we see a tight cluster of nodes, each connected to the concept publicly held corporation. Each node represents an individual company. If we click on a node, we can examine some of what Psych knows about that company. For instance, this company is listed with NASDAQ. What you're seeing is just a static representation of a handful of publicly traded companies. Yet Psych can map to external sources of knowledge, such as the Edgar Online Database of Companies, using a process we call Structured Knowledge Source Integration. By simply describing external knowledge sources to Psyche, it can then reason over all of that additional data as if it were contained in its knowledge base. Not only can we do that for a publicly held corporation, but for every concept seen in this graph. By connecting to this central hub of common sense, we are able to turn basic data into intelligent data that can be reasoned over using common sense. We've shown you only a fraction of Psyche's vast knowledge and its abilities to semantically connect to your enterprises, and in fact the world's data. Psyche can leverage everything it has learned over the past 30 years to reason over and generate valuable insights for your business.